Friends, I'm really sorry that I cannot be with you physically today at your very important protest action, but I'm very glad to send best wishes and strong support for your valiant efforts in attempting to hold those in Bulgarian authority to account. For a long time now, I've watched the ongoing corruption of Boyko Borisov and his team, uh, where they have sought to use EU funds for their own benefit, where they have tampered with the judiciary, where they have stood over the appointment of Prosecutor General Ivan Geshev, and all of the scandals involving the powerful and the unaccountable in Bulgarian society siphoning EU funds while ordinary citizens live in what is the EU's poorest country. I'm so heartened to see the Bulgarian people up off their knees and attempting to hold these reprobates to account. I've witnessed from afar the mass arrests, the beatings, the lack of justice in response to your protest movement and I can only say that those efforts at repression by the Bulgarian state prove to me not their strength, but actually their weakness. They are afraid of you, and from that you should take great hope because the Bulgarian citizens are the only ones who can hold your political elite to account. They are worried in the present climate. I have to say I'm very disappointed with the European Union and the European Commission for their failure to intervene. I don't think it's a surprise. I think it's as a result of the fact that Borisov has used his connections at the heart in the European Union and has been clever in not specifically targeting minorities and drawing the wrath of the Commission in the way in which Hungary and Poland have. Instead, he has allowed himself to benefit enormously from EU funds while keeping the European establishment sweet. He won't be allowed to get away with this your eyes and our eyes are on him. So stay strong, stay united, keep organised and I hope to join you physically on one of your future protests.